Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So the monthly finals ended yesterday. We played three different rounds. The quarterfinals we won, the semifinals we won, and the grand finals. We're not going to say what happened. Please don't spoil in the comments what happened to anyone watching. But we are going to show you all three rounds through the next three days. So we got round one for you guys today where we're going up against Kang's team. Don't really know exactly who was on the team. All I know is that Kang was playing... Um, so we'll leave it at that. We're gonna hop into the games. I'm gonna tell you guys the strategy, the bands, all that stuff, the maps, etc. Let's hop into it. And let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so going to the first game here, it's a best of three, best of three. So it's a best of three on the map, and then best of three of total modes for the first round until the semifinals. This is the quarterfinals. So the bands for this, we ban Sprout and Sandy. Um, reason being, because Kang is a really good Sandy player, um, and on top of that, Sandy's kind of an easy brawler to play. And we felt like we had higher skill than the other teams, so we wanted to make it more of a skilled uh, competition. And then we also banned Sprout because my team, all of us, every single one of us just hates Sprout. Um, they went ahead and I believe they banned Bell and Stu, two new brawlers. They're both really good, both really annoying, so it's understandable why they would ban them. Um, so we went Gene, Max, Crow to start off. Um, they go Gene, Max, Poco. Both comps are good. I'd say their comp is probably a tiny bit better. Uh, but with that being said, it's fine. We went Crow, Max, and uh, and Gene just so nothing really hard counters us. And hopefully we can outskill. I got a pull over there. We got a kill. They hold position. Tuni has speed. So I'm kind of just chilling in the back, waiting for the speed, waiting for Tuni to come up. OG gets a slow. We're able to pull Kang over there. OG gets a jump forward. He goes forward. Okay, I missed that. I'm a bad cameraman. I'm sorry. Hard to do all this at once. I get so I get the pull, we get the kill. OG jumps over onto Jared, gets a kill, and then I get one hit over there on Fury Ball just so I can get my super. And then we go back and continue. Uh, let's put this back to automatic quickly. Okay, there we go. Um, so they get max speed here, I believe. I don't know why the max isn't gone. It there we go. OG triggers the slow. I would have pulled the gene over there if OG didn't slow, but I mean, slow was the play, it just kind of messed up the timing and everything um the crow goes down so og goes down me and Tuni are doing a good job over here pinching and whatnot we're able to get the kill on kang so it's a 2v2 here jared dashes forward um so i think they have it covered um but it turns out that they don't have it covered that was probably my fault i should have looped around and came down from the side to just make it a three on two um but yeah i flash my gadget over or my super over here to make the max dash then i go forward and pull kang we get the pull we get the kill on kang really nicely Tuni gets his speed we're able to kill jared really easily and then i go for the pull on the gene to break the walls Tuni gadgets up and puts the ball in the net so this was actually a pretty close game all things considered um everyone's basically playing on their mini account except for Tuni and og um, and Jared, I think, is also not on his mini. So 50% of the lobby is on their minis. Uh, but yeah, that was the first game. A pretty intense first game, fairly even. Let's hop into the second, and let's keep going. So going into the next game here, they made a comp switch. Uh, Kang hopped on the Piper. Kang usually carries randoms with Piper, so I guess he thought, you know, maybe this is the same situation. I'm not calling the other team randoms, just maybe he can hard carry, I don't know. Fury Ball, don't know exactly who this is. Goes to really aggro play. Um, they just give Tuni speed. We get a really easy kill. Kang's gonna jump forward. Uh, he's one shot. We get kind of good positioning over here. I get my super. Kang taps me. Doesn't really change anything. Jared's really low. I get the the uh, pull on Fury Ball, the Byron, to get the wall break. And then we get a pretty easy team wipe 30-ish seconds into the game. We get the first goal. So pretty good start. Um, at this point, I'm kind of just playing patient because I do get outranged pretty hard by... Piper, so I'm kind of just waiting for Tuni to get his speed. Um, OG gets a really good slow on Kang and Jared. OG's gonna jump on Jared over there. He's gonna get the kill. Tuni's gonna go for a gadget play. Fury heals Kang. Kang tries to put the ball to the side, tries to pass it off. Nothing really they can do. And that one was a really quick, just quick 57 second game. Same comp, same strategy. Just run it back and do it again. So that one turned out really well. Really quick and easy. Two nothing set win for us. So now we're up 1-0 in sets. We're going to move over to the next map, which is going to be Dueling Beetle. So let's hop into that and show you guys what happened. So going into the first game here, we didn't really have any comps planned for this map specifically. We had Brawlers in mind that we were comfortable with, but with the Poco ban, which is what we were expect, or with Poco unbanned, sorry, which is what we were expecting, we kind of shifted over to a Poco comp. We went Poco Max M's just because Poco and Max have really good synergy. Max and M's have really good synergy, and we found that we kind of had everything covered here. Like this comp, they do technically have the counter on us. So this game was actually a little bit difficult for us, um, composition-wise. 
but with the synergy, it's you're always going to be able to make a play. We got a really early lead, which is good. The thing with their comp is when they get set up, they get the Jesse turret, which we actually don't really have anything that takes out Jesse turret quite well. And then on top of that, they can get Penny turret, so they can actually make some waves here and actually do a lot of damage with their control. Um, but we're doing a really good job. Toonie gets a kill over there on the tick. I get a heal, but I don't actually heal Toonie. I just screech someone. Um, Toonie gets one kill. I get one kill. And OG's just got everything covered down in the middle right now. We get the pinch over there on Jared. So we're going to be able to get the kill. As well as take out the tick head during that. Um, Toonie's going to walk up and put a sad face emote. Because I guess he's sad he died. Uh, we get a really nice pinch kill over there on Kang. And now we kind of just have them stuck. They don't really know what they're strategy is i guess at this point without having position it's really hard to get position back with that comp they do have the penny turret though all set up and everything toonie gives us speed now it's my turn to stay in the zone as og has super so he's just gonna go up and try and take out the penny and the jesse which i'm pretty sure he does maybe he goes down here he does go down there but either way we have the game one 100 to 23 wasn't really a close game at all and we're gonna go up one to nothing in this set as well so we're now on match point next game if we win it wins so let's hop into the next game and again let's see what happens okay so hopping into this game we're gonna go kind of with the same strategy with the poco max but instead we're gonna go with mortis um we thought that they were gonna switch up their comp and mortis is basically good into everything here so we're just like okay we're gonna go more uh get a kill over there on the amber unfortunately the amber does get me tagged with the fire so i'm gonna go down i told og um screeching solo would be good here just in case i don't counter anyone we'd want og to be able to kill everything um so he's gonna be on the screech again i'm gonna dive into the fire i don't really care i get a triple bats over there again it's not my job to stay alive or necessarily to team wipe it's just my job to cause a lot of commotion you know get people low get some kills whatnot just get them trapped and spawn so doing pretty good over there. Missed heal over there by OG, but it doesn't really matter. We already have like a 50% lead, so it's looking pretty good at this point. Uh, I think I still have one gadget right now. OG gets them low, so I'm just going to make a dive for that Amber. Going to get a really kill, easy kill on the Amber. Going to go near the Max. The Max isn't going to be able to do anything for me. OG's going to shoot it once. Toonie gets a kill, and now, you know, kind of a little bit of BM. Um, putting the pins up in the mid. But yeah, again, I'm just going to go in, dive into the fire. Do not care. Um, we're just going to keep going forward and end up getting the kill over there. Again, I'm in the fire. Get lit by the fire. We have 87% at this point. Toonie's one shot. I'm going down to one shot. And OG's just getting as much time possible as he can in the zone. So he's doing what he can. Um, but he is going to go down. So we wait a little bit. I Instead of going in the fire this time, just stand in the fire for a second and bait them to use it. We get a really nice heal. Toonie gets a kill. We get a couple kills. We put the pins out. And we were going to try and BM them, leaving the zone at 99% and just, you know, spinning on the outside for a little bit. But we forgot about that and we didn't get out fast enough. So that's going to be it for the last game. We're going to get a really nice, clean, easy 4-0 sweep on them and move on to the next round. Now, tomorrow's video is going to be us versus Tribe. And let me just say that was one of the most intense matches i've ever played in in my brawl stars just career in general against such just like an absolute amazing team so that is a video you guys are definitely going to want to watch if you guys are into competitive and north america competitive i don't think there's going to be a better set to watch at all this year than the one you guys are going to get tomorrow so if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more competitive content as always like comment subscribe it does a ton for my channel if you guys do, you know, any of those three or all of the three or two of the three or whatever you guys, you know, decide to do, uh, it does help a lot, much more than you guys know. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you guys for watching. And I will be back again tomorrow with some very epic games. I'll see you guys then. Peace.